Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will discuss the slope of a tangent line. So first, uh, in geometry, we all know that the tangent line to a circle is a line intersecting the circle at exactly one point. So in our video lesson, as you can see, so itong point, uh, this point, tinatawag nating point of tangency, and then itong line na to, this is the tangent line na nag-intersect sa graph natin. Okay, so here is our C and kung saan nandito yung mga X values natin and yung F of C natin nandito yung Y values natin. So if, we in, if they intersect at this given point, so the, ayun tinatawag nating point of tangency. So the lines through a point C, comma F of C, so the one which best approximates the curve Y is equal to F of X, Near the point C, comma F of C is their tangent line to the curve at that point. So sa video lesson na to, pag-aaralan natin kung paano kunin yung slope ng tangent line. Okay, so to compute the slope of a tangent line, so meron ka tayong dalawang formula pero same lang sila. So we have the limit of y minus y sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0 or pwede ninyo itong gamitin the limit of x, uh, f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to 0 so we can say that your uh, y so alam natin ang y is equal to f of x And then yung y sub 0 natin, equal din siya sa f of x sub 0. So, aliman sa dalawa ay pwede natin gamitin. So, for example, find the slope, uh, slope of a tangent line to the curve y is equal to x squared at x is equal to 2. So, first, uh, so let us identify our given. So, ano yung mga given natin? So, yung x sub 0 natin, so kapag ang given kagaya nito ay uh, at x is equal to 2. So, ito yung x sub 0 natin. Okay? So, yung x sub 0 natin is 2. And then, yung y, since yung y ay equals then sa f of x, so, and that is the x squared. So, y is equal to x squared. And since y sub 0 is equal to f of x sub 0 is equal to x squared, ang ginagawa lang natin, ay evaluate natin yung function natin at x is equal to 2. So, papalitan natin yung x sub 0 ng 2 and then isa-substitute natin sa given function. So, since ang x natin dito, papalitan natin ng 2, it will become 2 squared and 2 squared is 4. So, ibig sabihin, yung y sub 0 natin ay 4 or yung kapag ito yung ginamit natin, yung f of x sub 0 natin ay 4. So, dito uh, gagamit lang ako ng isang formula. Ito lang yung nasa unang formula. So, we're going to use that. So, using the formula, substitute all the given values. So, the limit of x squared. So, yung y natin ay x squared. Minus, copy the sign. And then, yung y sub 0 natin ay 4. Yan. And then, copy x. Minus, yung x sub 0 natin is 2 as x approaches to 2. And after that, so ito class, kapag sinaptitute natin yung 2, dito sa rational natin, ito ay magiging 0 ang yung denominator natin. So, ganun din ang din, uh, numerator natin, magiging 0. So, magiging uh, indeterminate yung uh, given function natin. Now, so anong gagawin natin? So, kailangan natin merong makancel. So, para may makancel tayo, kailangan natin i-factor yung numerator natin. So, if a factor natin as x minus 2 times x plus 2, so, may makakancel na tayo dyan, and that is x minus 2. So, ang maiwan na lang is the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, kapag ganito, since our x is 2, isa-substitute na lang natin dyan sa x natin, so, that is 2 plus 2, the answer is 4. So, ibig sabihin, yung slope, nung tangent line of y is equal to x squared is 
Okay, for example number 2. So, find the slope of the tangent line to the curve f of x is equal to square root of x at x is equal to 4. So, again, what are the given values? So, ano yung x sub 0 natin? So, 4. Basta kung ano yung nandyan, kung ano yung value ng x, that, that is our x sub 0. And then, yung y natin equals din siya sa f of x, and that is square root of x. Next is y sub 0, or yung f of x sub 0 natin. So, what we're going to do, uh, papalitan natin yung x sub 0 natin ng 4, and then isa-substitute natin dito sa given na function. So, square root of 4 is 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung y sub 0, or yung f of x sub 0, is equal to 2. And then, gamit yung formula, so, gamit yung formula natin that the limit of y minus y sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to 0. So, isa-substitute lang natin itong mga nakuha nating values dito. So, isa-isahin natin. So, yung y natin, that is square root of x minus, and then yung y sub 0 natin ay positive 2, and then copy x minus x sub 0 natin is 4. So, ganito. So, kapag ganito, pa, wala tayong mga cancel pa. ba So, ano kaya ang gagawin natin? So, pwede nating i-multiply. Kapag ganito, na may radical, tapos may constant tayo, pwede nating i-multiply yung numerator and denominator natin ng square root of x plus 2. No? I-conjugate natin. Okay? So, again, i-multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of x plus 2. Okay, so sa radicals, napag-aralan niya ng grade 9. Okay, so both numerator and denominator, may multiply sa square root of x plus 2, and then isi-simplify natin as x approaches to 4. So, pag sinimplify natin to square root of x times square root of x, so mawawala na square root x na lang may iwan. So, negative 2 times positive 2, the answer is negative 4. And then dito sa baba, so, ito yung magiging uh, denominator natin. x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 2. So, uh, as you can see, meron tayong mga cancel yung x minus 4. So, ang may iwan na lang is the limit of 1 over square root of x plus 2 as x approaches to 4. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, isa-substitute nyo lang yung 4 dito kay x. So, magiging 1 over square root of 4 plus 2, square root of 4 is 2. So, magiging 2 plus 2 ang denominator natin. So, 2 plus 2 is 4, kaya ang sagot natin, yung slope natin ay 1 over 4. Okay, proceed tayo sa example number 3. So, find the slope of the tangent line to the curve y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5 at x is equal to 1. So, what are the given values? So, yung x sub 0 natin ay positive 1. Yung y natin or yung f of x din natin is x squared minus 4x plus 5. Yung y sub 0 or yung f of x sub 0 natin ay papalitan natin yung x sub 0 natin ng 1. And then, evaluate natin yung given function natin by x is equal to 1. So, that will become 1 squared. Minus 4 times 1 plus 5. And 1 squared is 1 minus 4. That is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5, the answer is positive 2. So, yung y sub 0 natin ay positive 2. So, next, uh, using the formula, is a substitute natin itong mga nakuha natin given. So, substitute natin yung y. Ang y natin is x squared minus 4x plus 5. And then minus, since yung uh, operation natin, minus, ang y sub 0 natin ay 2, so ilagay natin si 2. All over, so x minus, so yung x sub 0 natin is 1, so that is 1. And then, after that, so simplify natin itong nasa dulo kasi pwede na, no, 5 minus 2, that is 3. So ang maging, uh, ano na natin? The limit of x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. 
So, since uh, kapag sinabtitute natin yung 1 dito, magiging 0 over 0 kasi 1 minus 4 times uh, 1 is negative 4. So, that is 1 minus 4, negative 3 plus 3, 0. 0 over 0. So, indeterminate sila. So, what we're going to do, kailangan may ifa factor tayo. So, kapag nahihirapan sa factoring, so, pwedeng magbasa-basa ng lessons pang grade 8. Kasi doon tinuturo na yung factoring. Even sa grade 7, no, may factoring na rin. So, para masanay kayo. So, kapag finactor natin yung x squared minus 4x plus 3, it will become x minus 3 times x minus 1. So, kapag minultiply natin itong dalawa, babalik tayo dito. Okay, so all over x minus 1. So, may cancel na tayo? Yes. So, yung may iwan na lang, is the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches to 1. And since uh, nandito na tayo, pwede na natin i-substitute yung 1 dito kay x. So that will become 1 minus 3. So the slope of the tangent line on the given function na uh, y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5 is negative 2. Okay, for example, number 4, so find the slope of a tangent line to the curve y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 at the point of 2 comma negative 11. So dito class point yung binigay, hindi yung value lang x lang. So kapag ganito, paano natin kukunin yung y sub 0 natin? So first given, ano yung mga given natin? So yung x sub 0 natin. Okay, dito natin kukunin yung x sub 0. So, ito yung x sub 0 natin, and that is 2. Then, yung y natin, yung given na value ng y, that is 3x squared minus 12x plus 1. And then, yung y sub 0, since nandito na, binigay na yung point, no? Binigay yung point, so, ibig sabihin, yung negative 11, that is the y sub 0. Okay, so, hindi na tayo mag-i-evaluate. So, kapag ganito ang given, so, proceed tayo sa formula. So, substitute all the given values. So, yung y natin, 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 minus, so since negative 11 ito, so mahalaga na lagyan natin ng open and close parenthesis. Kasi pag nilagay nyo, uh, minus 11, so ibig sabihin din natin napalitan yung sign. So, kasi ito, magpapalit ito ng sign. So, the answer will be the limit of 3x squared minus 12x. So, 1 minus negative 11 ay magiging plus 12. All over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. And after that, so ito ay pwede natin since may common factor sila, ang common factor nila ay 3. So, ipapactor natin yung tatlo by 3. So, that is 3. 3x squared divide 3, so x squared, copy the sign, minus. So, 12x divide 3, so 4x na lang. 12 divide 3, 4. So, since uh, 3, ang naiwan na lang sa atin, limit of 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4, all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, wala pa tayong makakancel, no? Hindi, wala pa tayong makakancel dito. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we're going to factor itong x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, i-factor natin. So, it will become 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. So, yung factor ng x minus 2 times x minus 2 ay ito. So, may mga cancel na tayong isa. So, ang may iwan na lang natin ay yung limit of 3 times x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, since nandito na tayo sa part na ito, isa-substitute na lang natin yung x natin. Okay, which is 2 dito, no? So, 3 times. Okay, since yung x natin dito ay 2, so 2 minus 2, the answer is 0. So, 3 times 0, the answer is 0. So, yung slope natin dito ay 0. And for the last example, so we have... Uh, f of x is equal to the square root of 3x minus 1 at x is equal to 5 over 3. So, yung x natin ay fraction. So, kunin muna natin yung mga given values natin. So, yung x sub 0 natin is 5 over 3. 
yung y natin is uh, square root of 3x minus 1. And then yung y sub 0, is substitute natin yung 5 over 3 dito sa given na function. Okay, so square root of 3 times 5 over 3. So papalitan natin yung x ng 5 over 3 minus 1. So as you can see class, ito, pag minultiply natin si 3 kay 5 over 3, makakancel si 3. Ang maiwan na lang dito ay 5. So, 5 minus 1, the answer is 4. So, square root of 4, the answer is 2. So, yung y sub 0 natin ay positive 2. And then, using the formula, substitute lang natin sila dyan. So, yung y natin, that is square root of 3x minus 1, minus 2, all over x minus yung x sub 0 natin, which is 5 over 3. And then, after that, okay, so wala rin tayong ma- uh, maka-cancel. Tama? So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 2, okay, imumultiply natin yung numerator and denominator natin by, okay, the given numerator natin. Mumultiply natin sila by square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2. Ganon din sa denominator. So, i-co-conjugate natin sila, no? Para mawala natin, mawala yung radical dito, yung radical sign. So, imo both numerator and denominator, imo-multiply natin. And then, kapag plus yung nandito, so, minus yung gagamitin nyo. Okay, papalitan nyo ng minus. Okay, pero kapag minus, of course, so, kagaya nakikita nyo, plus yung ipapalit nyo. Okay, so, next, it simplify natin. So, square root of 3x minus 1 times square root of 3x minus 1. Ang maiiwan na lang dyan is 3x minus 1. So, negative 2 times positive 2, negative 4 ang sagot. And then, sa baba, ang maiiwan is x minus 5 over 3 times square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2. So, meron ba tayong makukuha? Yes, kasi ito class magiging 3x minus 5. Yung 3x minus 5, pwede natin siyang isulat ng ganito. 3 times x minus 5 over 3. Sir, hindi naman sila pareho. Pag minultiply natin ito, 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times negative 5 over 3, so cancel si 3, ang maiwan na lang is 5. So, 3x minus 5 pa din siya. So, kap kasi kailangan natin siya i-ganito para makancel natin si x minus 5 over 3. So, ang naiwan na lang sa taas, so, the limit of 3 all over the square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2 as x approaches to 5 over 3. So, what we're going to do, substitute natin yung 5 over 3 sa x natin. So, that will become 3 times 5 over 3. So, ito cancel, May iwan dito 5. So, 5 minus 1, the answer is... Uh, 4. Square root ng 4, 2. So, sa baba, ang maiwan na lang ay 2. 2 plus 2. So, 2 plus 2 is 4. So, the final answer is 3 fourth. So, yan yung slope ng number 5 natin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.